The monster in Still Wakes the Deep seems similar to those monsters depicted in Lovecraftian cosmic horror with beautiful scenery and textures and makes you feel in awe when you look at it. It also shares similarities or should I say a mix of similarities to those monsters shown in The Thing as well as that one Nick Cage Lovecraftian horror movie. In this video, I'll be going through what this monster might be, how it spreads, and why it cannot be killed. So a summary of the plot of the game, it's the mid-1970s and the Scotland oil rig manages to wake up a monster deep in slumber that goes to absorb everything in the oil rig, including the workers. And it seems to be growing more and more as time passes, protagonist Cav McLeary witnesses the deaths of all of his close friends. He tries to navigate the rig before realizing that there is no escaping the monster and eventually decides to destroy it by blowing it up, killing himself in the process. <laughs> Alright, so now we know that this creature most probably lay dormant in the deep sea until an external force like the oil rig drill woke it up from slumber and judging from the looks of it, it seems to share its features to that of some species of fungus that grows hyphae which are branching filaments that make up the mycelium of a fungus. It can be seen from the way it spreads throughout the oil rig as well as from the people it assimilates as they use these branching filaments to move around space. What's more striking is that some species of fungi are parasitic which means they feed off of their hosts without killing them. It seems to be the case of this monster as it does look like it is trying to feed off the workers throughout the game eventually killing them where they start to decay and become assimilated into the organism's body. One more notable feature of fungi is that of their ability to form spores to survive harsh climates. And they are able to lay dormant in that form for many years given if they had the right conditions which are perfect for the under the sea bed which seems to be the case for monster hair which was hidden away underground or under the seabed for probably who knows long. They may have survived and possibly reproduced under this for millions of years considering the fact that it was found in the region with oil. And we all know that it takes many years for that to form. The spores seem to have an effect on anyone who inhales them and this slowly starts to show symptoms of infections such as having hallucinations of their loved ones. This shows that the first part that a monster affects is in its assimilation process is the brain as it seems to thrive the longest with infected individuals showing signs of consciousness throughout the assimilation process. The monster also prevents anyone from leaving its presence by activating these pores whenever the person travels a certain distance away from the main body as shown by Renix's escape from the helicopter who crashes back into the oil rig and is immediately transformed as well as Racine, the diving bell who immediately transforms inside it at the beginning of the game and he only descends in the water for a few minutes. Now if you guys enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe and share down your theories as to what this monster is. I will see you guys in the next one.